to do addition of mixed numbers with unlike denominators. A mixed number, of course, is a whole number and a fraction. And notice the denominators of a 3 and a 4 are unlike. Okay. What we have to do at this point is get the denominators to be the same. So I look at the 3 and the 4, and I want to know what they are going to go into. If I don't recognize the number very quickly, I can come and choose the larger of the two bottom numbers, which is the 4, and I can list its multiples. 4 times 1 is 4. But 3 does not go into 4, so I'm going to keep going. 4 times 2 is 8, but 3 doesn't go into 8. Keep going. Oh, 4 times 3. There's my 12, and I know that 3 goes into 12. 12 then becomes my lowest common denominator. So at this point, I'm going to put the 12 in as my bottom number, and then I have to decide how did I get to the 12. Well, on this, the 4, I had to take 4 times 3 to get to the 12. And the rule you have to use, what you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. If I've multiplied the bottom by 3, I've multiplied the top by 3. And 3 times 3 is 9. Noticing that the 3, I have to multiply by 4 to get to my 12. And this number is different from that. It's okay to be different because I have to end up with the same number. That's what has to be the same. Back to here, I took 3 times 4 is 12. So now I've got to take 2 times 4, which is 8. Okay, so what my problem now has become is 4 and 8 twelfths plus 5 and 9 twelfths. And I can add now because I have the bottom numbers exactly the same. So 8 plus 9 is 17 over. The bottom number always is going to stay the same. And then 5 plus 4 is your 9. And you know the rule. You may not leave a fraction where the numerator or the top is larger than the denominator or the bottom. So we have to do one more step. I'm going to come off to the side, and I've got the uh, 17 twelfths, which I'm going to take the 17 divided by 12, gives me 12 on the outside of the division, the 17 on the inside of it. 12 goes into 17 once. 1 times 12 is 12. Subtract, you got 5 left over. In a fraction problem, this becomes the top of the fraction. The 12 comes down and is still the denominator. In other words, the denominator is not going to change. So what I actually have here is 1 and 5 twelfths. And what am I going to do with the 9? This actually is 9 plus the 1 and 5 twelfths, which is then 10 and 5 twelfths. And that would be the answer to this problem.